What's up guys? We're back and we're at it again. Can you believe it? It's been an entire year. We're coming at you today with Vacation Bible School 2024. My name is Pastor Julian and welcome to Bridgeway Church. Welcome to our kids ministry called Kidsway Studios. You came at a great time. We're just getting started with day number one of our Vacation Bible School. And this year we're talking about starting the party. That's what it's called, start the party. And it's all about celebrating the good news of Jesus Christ. And guess what we're gonna be doing all week? Yeah, you guessed it. We're going to be celebrating. We're going to be having a party. We're going to be having such a great time talking about how and why we should celebrate Jesus and the different reasons. We're going to look at different stories throughout the Bible, New Testament and Old Testament. We're going to explore a lot. And so for today, I got a job for you. I need you to pay attention and look out for the big answer. At the end, I'm going to ask you if you know it. I want to hear it from you. What is today's big answer? answer we want to hear from you all right so make sure you keep an eye out for the big answer and make sure that you're paying not paying attention make sure that you're participating with us throughout the service if we're singing and dancing we want you to sing and dance if we're saying and asking you to give us a call back we want you to shout back at us even through the screens so make sure that you're a participant within our service today don't just be a watcher dive in and celebrate the good news of jesus christ with you and we'll see you in just a few minutes. Michelle, I'm so excited for VBS. I'm so excited for VBS too. It's I know. Gonna be so, so much, much fun. fun. Y'all are here already. Are they early? Mm, I think we're, we might be late. Yeah, That's that could be too. Little, just just we're late. always late. We're late for we're everything. Late. Yeah, it's true. Alex, I'm so excited for VBS. So but am I. What are you most excited for? Probably the games. The games? Uh -huh. Do you like the games outside or do you like the games in here on stage? Well, the games outside, we can have like competitions and stuff, but the games mm -hmm. in here, we get to win prizes, so. Yeah, are you guys excited to win prizes? Yeah. Me too. My favorite day is the last day because it's the last day we get big prizes. Uh -huh. Like last year, there was a Nintendo Switch. Electric scooters. It's crazy. I know, it's crazy. I know, it's pretty fun. Ella, what's your favorite part about VBS? My favorite part of the, about VBS is probably the snacks. Really? They're always so good. Uh -huh. And I haven't eaten since last VBS. So. You must be so hungry then. I'm a bit hungry. Just a little bit. Yeah. I know all that stuff is fun, but when we put it together, isn't VBS like one giant party? It is like one giant party. Who's ready to party? Yeah. Red team, are you ready to party? Orange team, are you guys ready to party? Yeah. Yellow team, are you ready to party? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's Whoa. this guy? Hello, yeah, everybody. This? My name is Mr. David. If I've never met you before, how are we doing today? Good, good. By the way, guys, we are not here to party. We are here to learn. Are you we're, sure? It's what are we the Bible about? and the school part. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I don't think that's learn how that more. works. That's why we're here. Um, this is a serious time. No time for games. Definitely no time for hoverboards. That's not what I was told. Uh, yeah, I was told something different, well, too. Well, I've been doing this a long time, and I can tell you I know for a fact 
We are here for serious time and serious time. Is this only. guy for real? Yeah. Yeah. Who is I this? Am, I am for real. And uh, and I'm the yeah. So. Well, yeah. I'm ready to party. Are you guys ready to party? No! Oh yeah. This is a serious time. Let me hear you. Serious. Serious. Party. Serious. Party. 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 Okay, okay, all right, all right, okay, I think I can maybe help a little bit here. Yes, David, you have been doing this for a very long time, maybe Too even long. longer than me. <laughs> Girls, and you're right, this is a place where we party, but serious. we also talk about Jesus, and we have some serious moments as well. So I think you guys should maybe continue the conversation. It's a good conversation to have, but maybe continue it off stage and oh, backstage. Right, so. fine. If you say David's so. just jealous because he can't ride a hoverboard. I yeah, have it's never true. in all my years. Oh, man. But seriously, I think here at Vacation Bible School, it's about having fun and then also having some serious moments and learning about Jesus as well. Did you guys have fun in the crafts and games and snacks? That was a good time. And so when we're in here, we're going we're gonna to still have some fun, but we're going to focus in on Jesus very, very much here in this next little bit of time that we have. And then after this time, we're going to kick it back up and have some more fun playing games and doing all those things. And so we're going to be watching you guys to see who's on their best behavior, okay, sitting up nice and tall, who's watching, who's paying attention, okay? If you're on your good behavior, leaders, feel free. Say, hey, you're paying attention. You're doing so good. Here's a starburst. Leaders, if you're up for it, say, hey, you're doing so great. Here's $100. Okay? I'm just saying. You know what? If you're up for it, you know? And then Pastor Julian, no, I'm just kidding. So remember, be on your best behavior. Pay attention. Listen to what's going on. And we'll look out for you to see if you can get a quiet seat prize. All right. I didn't tell you guys this earlier, but did anybody bring their Bibles with them to Vacation Bible School? We got one. We got two. We got a couple here. Nice. Hey, if you have a Bible, how many of you guys have a Bible at your house? Okay. Nice. If you have a Bible, do me a favor. Will you bring it tomorrow? You have a bag with you. Your bag is going to stay here, but tomorrow bring your Bible, and that way you can carry your Bible with you. And we get into this time for our message. We, you can use your Bible. You can open your Bible and we'll follow along with our Bible story today. If you did bring your Bible with you, we're going to be reading in the book of Luke. It's in the New Testament, Luke chapter 5, and we're going to be reading from verse 27 to 30, excuse me, Luke 27 to Luke 32. This is a really neat time because here in this time, as we're reading, we're talking about Jesus and how he first began to choose his friends and really kind of start his ministry. One might even say that during this time, Jesus started the party. Huh? Start the party. Dun, 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 dun. Jesus really started to kind of come out. He started to pick the disciples that would be with him. How many disciples did Jesus have with him? Does anybody know? Shout it out. Shout it out. Twelve. That's right. Jesus' closest friends, the closest friends that he had to him were called the disciples, and there were 12 of them. And it took a little bit of time as Jesus went on, and he told people, hey, will you come with me? Follow me. He told them all of these things. And slowly but surely, these 12 men started to follow Jesus. And in one of these times, this is what we're going to be reading about today. In Jesus' ministry, he was doing amazing things. Show me your amazed face. What does an amazed face look like? right? Jesus was doing amazing things. He was preaching and talking about God like nobody had ever heard before. He was healing people. And that's what, we, that's what we read. If you were to read a little bit ahead of what we're reading right now, you would see that there was a man who was lame. And not like he was boring or anything like that. Like he was lame. Like he couldn't walk. His legs didn't work. His arms may, might have not worked in this time either. But Jesus saw this man, spoke over this man, and this man got up and he started walking again. He was able to go on about just because Jesus prayed over him, said a word over him. And this was amazing. People were so amazed at what Jesus was doing that he was performing these miracles and talking about God like nobody had ever heard before. People were starting to question, who is this guy? What's his name? Uh, uh, it starts with a J. Um, Jesus. Je yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is he? He's saying some pretty interesting things. 
People wanted to know more and more about this man, Jesus, and those, so they started to follow him. And Jesus made his way from town to town. And in one of the towns that he's in, there was a man named Levi. Everybody say Levi. Levi. That's right. There was a man named Levi. And Levi just so happened to have a job. Do any of you guys have jobs? Some, maybe, sort of. Yeah, some of you guys, your parents give you jobs. Some of you, your parents give you jobs. This man, this man, what was his name? Levi had a job, and his job was a tax collector. He was a tax collector. And it might sound kind of like not a big deal, but tax collectors were not liked in the community where they were at. Imagine a tax collector. He would have a booth. Imagine a booth that people would walk up to, and and people would come and pay this man their taxes. They would have to pay taxes based on where they were at or the work they were doing or maybe even just for being alive. People would have to pay tax collectors and the tax collectors would take their money and go give it to the leaders of the kingdom that they were at. And this put tax collectors kind of in a bad light. Nobody liked them because one, you had to give your money to these guys and they, the people of this town didn't believe they should have to do this. And, it's, and two, tax collectors would charge whatever they want. Tax collectors would charge whatever they wanted to during these times. One, one day, you might go up to this tax collector and he say, okay, I just need $20. And give him $20. The following week, you might go to this tax collector. He's like, I need $100. And then the following week, ah, I just need uh, $48.92 from you today. And it would continue to change. And if the tax collector was getting low on his own money, guess what? He would charge more just so that he could put it in his own pocket. People did not like these tax collectors. They they did not like these tax collectors. And so Jesus was going and he uh, he was preaching and teaching. And there were these people that didn't like what Jesus was doing because they didn't agree with what Jesus was saying. They were called Pharisees, Sadducees, and some of them were called scribes. These were religious leaders of the time in the space where they were at. These people did not like Jesus because the scribes would write down the laws based on the Old Testament that people were supposed to do. If you were a believer in Jesus, or if you were a believer in God, you had to do this, and you had to do that, and you had to do it on this day, at this time, and you had to do all of these things, big scrolls full of laws that they had to follow. And then the Pharisees, this group of men, these religious leaders, they would walk around and they thought that they were the best. They thought that they did these laws better than everybody. They would teach about these laws and tell other people that you're wrong, you're wrong, uh, kind of, sort of doing it. You're wrong, you're wrong. And they would just kind of go off and pretend like they were just better than everybody else. They were kind of like show-offs a little bit. Like, do you have a friend that's a show-off that just likes to show their skills and do all that? Don't point, don't point, don't point. This is kind of what these Pharisees and Sadducees were like. They didn't like that Jesus was going around and doing all of these things. People also didn't like tax collectors for the reasons that I mentioned to you earlier. These tax collectors would take money. Most people didn't want anything to do with them. But Jesus was different. Turn to your neighbor and say, Jesus is different. That's right. Our tax collector, what was his name? Levi. Levi. While Levi would work behind his booth, other people would come and they'd scowl at him. They would show, they would be mad at him. Show me your mad face. Yeah, mad face. They would be mad when they'd come up to him. But Levi, Levi, he was a little different. He heard about this man named Jesus and the things that he was doing. And I think Levi was probably a little curious. I think he was probably a little curious because he started to hear stories about Jesus and things Jesus was doing and the things he was saying and all these other things. And before you know it, guess who walks by Levi's booth? Jesus walked by Levi's booth. And imagine Levi knowing that he's doing something that is making people mad. And he's hearing about this man who's changing the world, this man who's healing and teaching and preaching and doing these amazing miracles. And he's heard stories about him. And then all of a sudden, Levi is here. And Jesus walks by and Levi sees him. He's like, oh man, look, that's, that's the guy I've been hearing about. That's him. That's, the, uh, that's Jesus. I've heard of him. And then all of a sudden, Jesus looks over 
makes eye contact with Levi. Imagine that. What would you do? Sometimes people look at us in our eyes and we're like, Whoop! and we try to hide. I try to imagine what Levi would have been like. Maybe he was kind of worried. Maybe he hid and he popped up and he looked and he saw Jesus still staring at him. And now all of a sudden Jesus is walking towards him. He's like, oh man, what's he going to say? Is he going to be mad at me? I hope he's not mad. And Jesus walks closer and closer and he gets to him. And in Luke chapter 5 verse 27, we get to see what Jesus said to, to Levi at the time. And he says this. He says, follow me. Simple. Jesus goes up to Levi in his booth and he says, hey, follow me. Imagine that. What would you do? What would you do in this case? Like, think about it. If you were this guy, you had a job, you were set, you were making good money, people didn't like you, but yeah, okay. You have a life, right? And then all of a sudden, this man that you hear about comes and says, follow me. What would you do? What would you think? We get to see. We get to see what Levi did. And by the way, Jesus actually changed his name. Jesus called him Matthew. Matthew has his own book in the Bible. And so check this out. In Luke chapter 5, verse 29, it says this. It says that Matthew gave a huge, Matthew got up, left everything, and followed him. He was probably one of the only people, one of the few people that was actually nice to him. Everybody else was mean to him, scowled at him, gave him angry face, but Jesus was nice. Jesus was like, hey, I want you on my team. I want you with me. I choose you. Will you follow me? And Matthew left everything that he had, left his booth and started following Jesus. And Matthew was so thankful. The Bible says that Matthew gave a huge banquet for Jesus at his house. And a banquet, you can think of this like a party. Matthew had a big party. Have you guys ever been to a party? Yeah? And you eat food and you spend time with people, right? Matthew threw a big party for Jesus got him food, did all these things because he was so thankful that Jesus was nice to him and invited him to follow him. Jesus said, yeah, you're invited. Come follow me. But the Bible continues to say, it says, a large crowd of tax collectors and others were eating with him. This was a little, this was a little weird. This was a little bit different. This was a little bit different because during this time, you remember, you, do you remember the, uh, the religious leaders? Do you remember what they were called? What were they called? Sadducees? Pharisees? You guys got the two hard ones. And then the other one? Scribes, right? These were religious leaders, right? And these religious leaders would not be caught with tax collectors because tax collectors were considered bad people. And so these religious leaders were like, well, if they're bad people, we can't hang out with them. We got to stay over here because we're good people. We're better and so these, these religious leaders, they see Jesus at Matthew's house. What was Matthew's job? Tax collector. What kind of friends do you think Matthew had? He had other friends like him, other friends that were tax collectors, other friends who were labeled as bad people. Not because they were necessarily bad, sinners probably, but not necessarily bad. And so Matthew throws this party for Jesus with a bunch of other bad people, sinners at their house. And Jesus goes, and he's attending this party. And these religious leaders are like, why is he with them? These religious leaders actually remind me of dinosaurs. They remind me of dinosaurs. When I was younger, I used to watch this movie called The Land Before Time. And there's this line there's this line in this movie that two baby dinosaurs, they're playing with each other. They're trying to play with each other. And the parent says something to the little ones. It says, three horns don't play with long necks. I want to show you this clip. I want to show you. Do you have, we have, I think we have the clip in the back. Littlefoot, don't you wander too far. Hey! 
<laughs> what are you laughing at? <gasps> Come, Sarah. Three horns never play with long necks. Little foot. Three horns never play with long necks. Long neck? Hmm. Mother, what's a long neck? That was our quote, right? Three horns never play with long necks. This is what the Pharisees and like the scribes and the Sadducees were like. They were like, hey, religious leaders never hang out with sinners. People who talk about God can't hang out with tax collectors and bad people. And they had these thoughts to themselves and they were talking amongst themselves. Why is he teaching about God, performing miracles, healing people and doing all these things and yet he's hanging out with these bad people, these sinners? And just so you know, sin, sin doesn't automatically make you a bad person. It can, and it has a very high potential to do that, but sin does something worse. It separates you from God. Sin separates you from God. And these religious leaders are sitting, why is the one who talks about God sitting with people who aren't with him, with God? Three horns don't play with long necks is what he says, what they're thinking. And Jesus, being Jesus, he knows what they're thinking. He hears what they're saying in their hearts. And Jesus replies to them this way. He sees this, and in Luke chapter 5, verse 29, Jesus, sorry, let me flip there. Luke chapter 5, verse 31 and 32, Jesus responds to them. He tells them this. He says, healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have not come to get those who think they are right with God to follow me. I have come to get sinners to turn away from their sins. Balloon pop. It's okay. Keep your balloons in your bags. Jesus said, I came for everybody. I didn't come just for one kind of person. I didn't want to invite one kind of person to my party. I wanted to invite everybody to the party. Jesus wants everybody to be with him. The Bible says that all people have fallen short of the glory of God and all people have sinned. God says, I want everybody to be at my party and I'm gonna send you Jesus so that you can be saved from your sin. Jesus went and he died on the cross for you and for me, so that we wouldn't have to be a slave to sin anymore, so that we wouldn't have to be a slave to the bad habits, to the bad thoughts, to those bad things. Jesus says, if you believe in me, that I came for you, that I died, and that I rose again three days later, you can have freedom from those bad things. You can have freedom from those things. You don't have to be a slave to them. Jesus didn't do that just for one kind of person. Jesus did that for everybody. Everybody's invited to the party. And my friends, that is a great reason to celebrate. We have a big answer today. It says Jesus is a reason to celebrate. Jesus is a good reason, sorry. Jesus is a good reason to have a party. Can you guys say that with me one time? Say Jesus is a good reason to have a party. Hey, we're going to get ready to go into a time of worship, but I want to tell you guys something. When we worship, it's just between you and God. When we worship, we lift our hands. Did you know when we lift our hands, we're actually saying something? We're actually saying, Lord, I want what you have for my life. Lord, will you be a part of my life? So don't be afraid to lift your hands during this time of worship. We're going to worship. We're going to sing together. The words to the songs are going to be on the screens, and we want you guys to sing right along with us. So do me a favor. Close your eyes and bow your heads. We're going to pray, and we're going to jump into our time of worship. Lord, thank you for this time that you've given us today. Thank you that you brought us here. Thank you that you've given us this place, this time, and this space to come and worship you. Thank you for the friends that are next to us. 
God, I pray that you would remove any worry, any doubt, and any distraction from our minds right now, any distraction from our hearts. God, keep us close to you in this moment, and I pray that you would send your spirit so that we could worship you more than ever before in this time. Teach us how to worship in this moment. Fill our hearts with love for you so that we would overflow with love as we worship you, Lord God. Arrest us with your spirit. Lord, we love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, VBS, you guys can go ahead and stand up to your feet. And if you guys want to carefully move forward and make your way to the altar, we're going to spend time in worship here, like Pastor Julian said. The words are going to be on the screen. Some of these songs you guys know. Some of these songs are kind of new. But that's okay. We're just going to take this time. We're going to worship together. Come on.
All right, VBS, we're going to go into a song now called Uncomplicated. This song is a song that some of you guys have known if you guys have been upstairs with us on Sunday. So we're just taking this time, we're worshiping him, we're thanking that his love is a simple love, that there's nothing that we can do to make him love us more, and there's nothing bad that we can do that would make him love us any less. It's a powerful love. Come on, let's worship him together today. There's a simplicity, humility to the way you love me, an honesty, a purity. God, you make it easy. No special words or formulas could ever win you over. For oh, your love is undeserved. Even when I can't see clearly, somehow you still make it easy. Your love's uncomplicated. You love me just the way I am.
Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence, Lord God. Hey kids, everybody here, do me a favor. Put your hands in the air like this. Put your hands in the air like this. Good job, good job. Everybody, hands in the air. Both hands. When you put your hands in the air like this, remember, you're telling God something. You're saying, Lord, I love you and I want your plan for my life. I want what you have for my life. So in times when you don't know what to say, but you wanna pray, you can hold your hands up high. 
Remember, you're saying, Lord, I want what you have. Keep your hands up. We're going to pray. Close your eyes and bow your heads, but keep your hands held high. Jesus, thank you for your presence. Jesus, thank you that you're here for us. Thank you, God, that you go before us and after us and all around us. Lord, I pray that you would fill us. God, fill our hearts with happiness, with joy, with comfort. Lord, I pray your name would be healing to those in this room that need healing today. God, we love you so much and thank you for spending this time with us. It's in your name that we pray. And everybody said, amen. Can you guys give a round of applause for our worship team? Good job. And you guys can slowly and quietly start making your way back to your seats. Slowly and quietly start making your way back. Making your way back to your seats. Everybody say, Jesus is a good reason to have a party. One more time. Say, Jesus is a good reason to have a party. Hey, that's our big answer. So when somebody asks you, what did you learn in church today? You can say our big answer. What did you, or Jesus is a good reason to have a party. I want to hear just the orange team over here. Everybody say, Jesus, Jesus is a good reason, good reason to, have a party. to have a party. Good job. Right here, red team, let me hear you say it. Say, Jesus, Jesus is a good reason, a good reason to, have a party. to have a party. All right, and that leaves us with, that was orange, red, yellow. Let's hear it. Say, Jesus, Jesus Ooh, nice. is a good reason, is a good reason. To, have a party. to have a party. Good job. So what is our big answer? Say it again on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus. Good job. Jesus is a good reason to have a party. Vacation Bible School, we need you to stand up on your feet. Stay right where you're at. Take your hands like this and put them together. Come on, hands out like this. We all have a story. A purpose you designed. Come on, just grooving. Every day, Stop. every page Stop. for me. Stop. Christ. Here we go now, listen up. So listen up, listen up now. I'm living, I'm living out loud. Jesus, let my life be your story. Are you guys ready? Put your hand up on this side. We're singing out, yeah. You're the one I want my life to celebrate. Cause you gave life to me. Come on, do that again. Hey, giving every day. Living to praise your name. Jesus, let my life all right, you guys know the moves now. Come I'm on, snap it. To live a life that shines your light. Yo, listen up. So listen up, listen up now. I'm living, I'm living out loud. Jesus, let my life be your story. Yeah, you're the one I want my life to celebrate. Cause you can die to me. We shout it, hey, give it every day. Give it to praise your name. Come on, keep it going. You're the one I want. My life to celebrate. Cause you can vibe to me. We're shouting it. Living every day. Living to praise your name. Jesus, let my life be your story. Take your right hand. Here we go. Let my life be your story. My future's bright. Cause you want good things for me. There we go. One more time. Let my life. Be your story. My future's bright. Cause you want good things for me. So bring on tomorrow, bring on today. I ain't afraid of what comes my way. Let my story every page bring glory to Jesus' name.
right, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit. Okay, a little more, a little more, a little more. Here we go now, jump, 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 jump. We're singing out, yeah, you're the one I want. are cool man you guys are cool everybody say Jesus is a good reason to have a party there's so many reasons that we could celebrate Jesus but Jesus came he died on the cross and rose again three days later so that we wouldn't have to be slaves to fear and sin and worry and all of these things and my friends that is a reason to party. And did you know that you're invited to the party? Did you know that? Did you know that you're invited to the party? Did you know that you're invited to the party? Hey, just like we learned, Jesus didn't just invite one kind of person. The religious leaders that were there were only worried about people who were doing things the right way and paying attention and following the law and, and looking the part and doing the part. But Jesus said, no, 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 I want everybody. I don't care who they are or what they're doing. I want everybody at my party. And that, my friends, is a good reason to celebrate Jesus Christ. Can I get amen? Everybody say amen. We saw how Jesus invited a man named Matthew that nobody else wanted to be a part of. Nobody else wanted anything to do with him, but Jesus said, I want him. Put him on my team. He's on my squad. And that's how we got to know Matthew as one of the disciples of Jesus Christ. So we're going to continue. Can you believe that we're not done with the night yet? Can you believe that we're not done yet? We're about 10 minutes or so away from being done for the night, but we are not quite there just yet. We're going to play a little game called Ball Pit Madness, all right? And I don't have a, I don't have a slide for it or anything, so you guys don't, don't be looking for that. But will you give a round of applause for my friends as they make their way back to stage? Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome. So, we spoke backstage, yep. and we all came to the conclusion that maybe, 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 just just maybe. this just may be bit. the time to party. So, yep. with that being said, we're getting ready to play a game called Beach, ball. no, just ball. kidding, Ball Pit Madness. Madness. <laughs> Who's excited to play? Let me hear you. Awesome. So our wonderful leaders, Mad Maddox and Ella, are going to go over how this game works. So why don't you go ahead and start, Ella? What are the rules here? All right. So I'm going to pick one of you, and Maddox is going to pick one of you, and you guys are going to come up here, and you're going to get in this ball pit, and there's going to be little hidden items in here. Ooh. And you've got to find the hidden items. And whoever finds the most wins a prize. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. Ooh, you and had Ella, that prize. Sound cool? Ella, what are the prizes? Ooh, Ooh, should we bring out the prizes? Yeah? All right. First we have. We got big tubes of Ooh. candy. Wait, so since I chose Team Party, does that mean I get candy now? Do I, do I get candy now that I chose Team Party? I think so. I think that's how that works. Uh, I don't know about that one. No, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. We'll cross that bridge. What, right. what next? What, what's the other prize that we have up here? Ring and pops. some ring pops. What? That is a win-win in my book. So with All that right. being said, 
Ladies, Let's once you go out and find two, con right. two contestants from each side and bring them up, hmm. and we will get this party started! Come on up! Is it good? Right here, come on up. Hold on, bud, hold on, bud. Wonderful, wonderful. We'll talk later. All righty, so we're gonna start this way, and what is her name? Did you get her name, Ella? By chance? No? What is your name for everybody? Zoe. Zoe? Zoe, everyone, can we say hello, Zoe? Hello, Zoe! All right, boss man, what is your name for everybody? Giovanni. Giovanni, can we say what's up, Giovanni? What's up, Giovanni? All right, so remember, your goal, if you guys can take off your shoes before you go in there, your shoes, is your shoes easy to come off? There it goes. Yep. All right, so before you guys go in there, take yep. off your shoes, and you're going to look for as many prizes as you can. We don't have another bucket out here, so when you find whatever is not a ball, just throw it right out or give it to one of the leaders next to you. Got it? All right, we have Got one it? minute. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Are you guys ready? Yeah! Let me try that again. I said, are you guys ready? All right, on the count of three, we're going to get this game started with the countdown. Count down with me. Three, two, two one, go! go! You got 30 seconds on the clock. We got two. We got one. Except for the balls, my friend. Except for the balls, my friend. All right, we are at two, one, two, two. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time! Time, time. All right, let's see. Let's start with Zoe. How many prizes did Zoe grab out? Three. Three. Let's hear it for Zoe. And how many did Giovanni get out? He got four. Four. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Put it there. Put it there. Good you guys can go over to go over Chloe over prize. there to point out and get your prizes. And then we have time for another one. So, ladies, why don't you guys go find some more contestants? Maybe a little bit closer in age and size if possible. Doesn't have to be. Sorry. From a different section, different color, different row. I hate this. I hate Come on up. We got one. And two. Who we got? Who we got? All right, run up here, run up here, run up here. We got both our contestants. All righty. And let's go ahead and what is your name for the crowd? Daya. Daya. Everyone, can we say hello, Daya? Hello, Daya. All right. And boss man, what's your name for everybody? Pedro, can we say what's up, Pedro? What's up, what's up Pedro? Pedro? Perfect. We know the rules. We know the rules. Yep. You can take anything out of this pool that's not right, a ball. Take your shoes anything off. else you can take out. And with that being said, are you guys ready? <laughs> awesome. On the count of three, count down with me. Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go! Get in the ball pit, my friend. Get in the ball pit, my friend. There you go. Join the madness. There we go. Not the balls, not the balls. Cheer on your team, I can't hear you. Who do you guys want to win? All righty, all righty. We got 10, nine, nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, three, two, one. Time is Time. up. There it is. There you go. All righty, let's count how many we had. Let's start on this side with Maddox. How many we got? He got five. Five. Let's hear it for him. Let's hear it for Pedro. And Ella, how many we got? She got seven. Seven. What? Five, let's five. hear it for him. Nice job. Right, you guys can head that way off stage to grab your prizes. Good job. And we have time for some more games. Awesome. Let's go. Ladies, let's go ahead and pick some more. Oh, God. I'll mix this up here. I hate this job. Come on up. 
All right. We got one on this side. What's up, bud? Yeah. And we got one more. Awesome. And what was your name for everybody? Hank. Hank, can we say what's up, Hank? What's up, Hank? And what is your name for everybody? Ariella, can we say hello, Ariella? Hello, Ariella. All right, and you guys know the rules? You guys ready? Get in the All ball right, pit, take off your shoes, go. get in the ball pit. Left side, are we ready? Just wait, just wait, just wait. Let's try that again. Right, on, side, right side, are we ready? <laughs> Left side, are we ready? You're getting there, you're getting there. On the count of three, count All down right, from three with me. Ready, three, two, two one, one, go! <laughs> there Cheer it on is. your team, guys. Come on, I want to hear you. Let's see what we got. One. Toss them out, toss them out. Good Hello, job. Thank you. Remember, you can throw anything you see out except for the balls. Good job. It's like a All dance right. party here. Ten, nine, nine eight, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Two. Time is up. Time. Time. High five. High five. Over here, Hank. All righty. So. Come here. Let's see who won round three. Round three. I think I'm yep. counting right. Round three. So, where are we at? Ella, how many we got on this side? Three. Three. Let's hear four. And how many we got on this side? Seven. Seven. Whoa. That's what I like to see. Great right, job. Go Great prize. job. Over there. I think go we got prize. time for one more. One more Let's game. See. Ella, Maddox, go ahead. Let's pick our final <laughs> contestant <laughs> for our game, Ball Pit Madness. All right, Hank. Got him. Did I make it? Whoops. All right, there we go. Let's start on this side. What is your name for everybody, please? Lila, everyone, can we say hello, Lila? Hello, Lila. All right, the man with the cape. Can you say your name for everybody, please? Braxton. Braxton, can we say what's up, Braxton? What's up, Braxton? All right, we got time for one more, so let's just jump right into it. Count down from three with me. Ready? Three, three two, two, one, go. go. Thirty seconds on the clock. 30 seconds on the clock. Remember, the take it's anything out that is not a ball. Anything else that is not a ball. Come on, I want to hear you guys. Well, we got 15 seconds left. 14, 13, 12, 12 11, 11, 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. All right, let's see. All right. Woo! I'm excited up here. I am sweating yeah. too. It is, it it's is hot fun. up here. All right. So, let's go ahead and get started and finish up this game. Ella, how many do we have on this side? She got five. Five. Let's hear it for Lila. And how many on this side? She got five. Five also? Five. Yep. What? Well, I think we got time to run it back one more time for the tiebreaker. What do you think, Mr. Jewel? Pastor Julian? Lightning round, 15 seconds. Get right, back in there. Back. Get back in there. We're going to run it back you. one more time for the tie breaker because we don't like Let's ties see. here. Who do you guys think is going to win? At it is win or go home. So right. we're going to go ahead and win. All right. You guys all ready? Back in the bucket. All right, guys. Ready. Lightning round. Countdown from three. Ready? Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. go. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 10 9. nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two one. Time. Time is time. up. All right. All right. Hopefully All right. this isn't a tie this time. We got let's a. Let's see who won. What? I said let's see who won. Let's see who won. That is right, Maddox. Let's see who won. Ella, the first we get. She got seven. Seven and 15 seconds. Yeah. All right. 
And how many did Braxton get? Braxton got three. Got three. So close, but so Good close. Job. Great job. We'll get your prize. Good job. All right, everybody. Job, that was guys. our game. Let's hear a huge round of applause for all our contestants. And keep that clap going for Pastor Julian. What a what an intro. What an intro. Everybody say Jesus. Is a good reason to have a party. Hey, did Jesus just invite one kind of person to his party? No, did he just want one kind of person a part of his family? No, he wanted everyone a part of his family. Tomorrow we're gonna continue the celebration, remember our big answer, and I am gonna call a couple people for bonus prizes. If you can come in, we have a memory verse in Acts chapter 2, verse 28. Acts chapter 2, verse 28. If you can bring me, or if you can say, rather, if you can say this verse, if you can say this scripture tomorrow, there may be a prize in it for you. Write it down in your notes. You have notes with you. Acts chapter 2, verse 28. If you can tell me this verse tomorrow... There's going to be a time in service. I'm going to call on you, and we're going to see what we have. All right. Hey, we've had an awesome time with you guys today. That concludes day number one. Can you believe it? Day number one has come to an end. Can you believe it? Day one is a wrap already. Did you catch the big answer from today? That's right. Jesus is a good reason to have a party. Jesus is a great reason to have a party. We learned in our message today and throughout all the things that we did that Jesus did so much for us. He died on the cross and rose again three days later so that we wouldn't have to be a slave to sin. And I wanna tell you something about sin. Sin isn't something that just automatically makes you bad, makes you a bad person. It can, has high potential to do that, but sin actually does something a lot worse. It separates you from God. It makes it to where the things of God and His Word in the Bible aren't true for your life. And so sin takes you away from these promises, takes you away from the truth, and takes you away from God. We learned today that we're all sinners, and even though we are, we can still place our trust and our belief in Jesus Christ. When we do that, we really start to realize what it means to celebrate the good news of Jesus and that he is a great reason to have a party. We talked about a guy named Levi who was then named Matthew and how Jesus invited him to follow him. Matthew left everything that he had and just went to follow Jesus because he knew that Jesus was going to change the world and do something amazing. So pay attention tomorrow because we're going to go in. We actually gave our big answer away for tomorrow. I'm actually going to tell you a little bit. Our big answer tomorrow is that everyone's invited to the party. So make sure that you're ready to come to the party. Make sure that you come ready to celebrate and participate with us in Vacation Bible Day number two. Vacation Bible School Day number two. All right, we'll catch you guys then.